We're told that quadrilateral A prime B prime C prime D prime is the image of quadrilateral A B C D after a reflection. So we can see A B C D here, and A prime B prime C prime D prime right over here. And what we want to do is figure out a rule for this transformation. So pause this video and have a go at that by yourself before we do this together. So just as a reminder, a rule for a transformation will look something like this. It's saying for every x, y in the pre-image, for example, a, b, c, d, what does it get mapped to in the image? And so it's going to tell us, well, how are these new coordinates based on x and y? And there's a couple of ways we could do that. We could just think about each of these points, for example, point a, and then what happens when it goes to a prime, and think, see if we can come up with a rule that works for all of them. So for example, point a, is at the point negative 5 comma 6, negative 5 comma 6. And let's see, the image when it goes to a prime is at, it looks like it's at negative 5 comma negative 6. Negative 5 comma negative 6. So the x coordinate stayed the same if I just look at this point, but the y coordinate became the negative of it. And that makes sense, because when we do this reflection across the x-axis, it makes sense that our x-coordinate stays the same, but that the y-coordinate, since it gets flipped down, it becomes the negative, it becomes the opposite of what it was before. So my candidate for this transformation for the rule here is that x stays the same, and that y becomes the opposite. But we could do that with a few more points just to make sure that that holds up. For example, we could look at point B, in the pre-image is at negative 6 comma 5, negative 6 comma 5. And if this rule holds up, when we do this reflection, B prime should be at, we should hold the x the same, negative 6, and we should make the y the opposite of this. So it should be at negative 6 comma negative 5. And if we go to negative 6 comma negative 5, that is indeed where B prime is. And you can validate the other points if you like, but this should, just make intuitive sense. The x-coordinate stays the same, but the y-coordinate becomes the opposite. 